Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia and welcome back to another episode of my Liu Bei Let's Play. Uh, we pick up here uh, in turn 40 in the summer of 198. Uh, in the last episode, uh, we have uh, finished our war with Yuan Tan, uh, the son of Yuan Shao. Uh, we negotiated peace. Uh, after uh, executing Yuan Shao and going across the Yellow River, taking Pingyuan Salt Mine and Pingyuan Small City, uh, we inflicted enough damage uh, to uh, Yuan Shao's forces, uh, including executing Yuan Shao, to uh, scare Yuan Tan into negotiating for peace. Uh, we were able to uh, receive Hene's farmland during that deal. Uh, this is very helpful because uh, we were uh, always short on food and I really wanted to uh, develop another city uh, from a small city to a city. So it's nice to have this food supply secured and it was nice to finally not be at war with everyone, uh, with someone, I guess only Yuan Shao uh, and Dong Min uh, were at war with us. Uh, we have great relationship with the other two factions uh, in the north. Uh, Gong Sun Zan has an excellent relationship with us, and Han Fu has a decent relationship with us, uh, if we can look at it through their attitude. Um, Kong Rong is uh, uh, our, one of our allies, like us, as always, although Tao Ying has been flipped. Uh, Cao Cao has formed, uh, created a coalition, uh, the coalition of the Yellow River with Liu Biao and Tao Ying, and they have declared war on me, uh, just as we ended our last episode. Uh, so for this episode, uh, my goal is to uh, reorganize uh, my military situation, uh, set up my uh, economy, uh, administrators, and defense of my territory, uh, because we just received a new uh, administrator slot by leveling up our unity uh, to the coordinated level. Um, the goal here is to uh, be able to defend our territory as well as march an offensive force uh, into Donghai uh, through uh, Pengcheng. My hope is to eliminate uh, Tao Ying's uh, faction from the map. Uh, after all, he did uh, betray us, uh, turn from friends to foe. And we do still have a campaign mission uh, to take Donghai. So, that's the, that's the plan for today. Uh, let's get to it. Uh, first thing first, we do have an open uh, administrator slot. Uh, I intend to give the position to Chen Gong. Uh, probably in Taishan. Uh, it's our last complete commandery that we own. Um, if we take a look, right now we have uh, Feng Bi and Lu Fan as our two administrators. Uh, in Pingyuan and Dong. Uh, Jian Yong is another good choice. Uh, could consider this. Plus 5 public order, plus 5 reserve, minus 22 uh, construction costs, and he can get more skills uh, later from his tree. Chen Gong can produce 5 food, which is important. Uh, increase in commerce, which uh, Taishan actually uh, is focused on. Increase in Income from industry is great. Minus 9 construction cost is not as good as Jian Yong's minus 22. But since uh, this stat is based off your expertise, it makes sense Jian Yong is better. The main reason Chen Gong is going to get the job is actually because he's the most unhappy with us. We can't give it to him this turn because he's recalling from his earlier assignment. Um, so we have to wait a turn for that, but that's fine. So we're going. that's our plan, putting Chen Gong in uh, Taishan. He doesn't have a retinue of strong arm, uh, military force, which is okay because Taishan is relatively the interior of our uh, territory and doesn't need to be defended. Uh, speaking of being defended, uh, Feng Bi uh, probably need to we probably need to recruit him, build up a decent retinue force, and then recall him back into the city uh, for a permanent garrison unit, just like how we did with Lu Fan earlier in Dong. Uh, I want to have two armies on the field, uh, one army uh, staying in Dong, a small army staying in Dong, uh, along with the garrison, to defend against a potential invasion from Liu Biao. I don't want to march out towards Liu Biao. I want to play a defensive war with him, because Liu Biao's territory are all very uh, long and thin along the Yellow River, open, leaving us to a lot of uh, 
fronts. Uh, Tao Ying has another, uh, I just noticed he has another city here in, in Chuan. So even if we take Donghai, we won't end his faction. But that is fine. We still really want Donghai for the mission. And then we'll have a main offensive force uh, heading down uh, towards the farmland here in Pengcheng, and then taking the city of Donghai. This farmland is critical uh, because this farmland for us is more defensible versus the farmland in Henei. I expect eventually Yuan Tan will turn on us. After all, we did execute his dad. Uh, for our offensive force, after taking a look, I have decided I want Zhang Fei to lead the charge uh, with Guan Yu. Mainly because Zhang Fei is a great general, uh, vanguards are very strong, and he's my only vanguard. And also, he tends to have disagreements with all my administrators, and he doesn't have a harmony uh, relationship with Xu Yu. He just, uh, they don't like or dislike each other. So it's better if we um, put him in the army with Guan Yu where they will get along and see which um, uh, strategies we can combine with them. Uh, Mi Zhu here likes Liu Bei. These two will be our defensive force uh, that will stick together. Guan Yu will split off, leading an offensive force with Zhang Fei and someone else. Zhang Fei's army is pathetic, <laughs> and we did this uh, in the beginning to save money. It's better to provide him with Lance Cavalry, uh, so our plan here is actually we want to recall Zhang Fei from uh, Pingyuan and just re, uh, raise a new army, perhaps in the Iron Man and Dong or in Longya, which is closer to uh, our destination. But if we recall him right now, like we used to do uh, with Lu Fan, what will happen is that once we recall him, he will bring this retinue with him. And next time we want to deploy him, we have to pay for this retinue again. And we haven't made any investment toward reducing redeployment costs. So our goal here is actually, since we don't want any of this to stick with Zhang Fei in the future, we want a new cavalry uh, unit with him, we're going to disband everyone uh, in his group. So let's proceed to disband his entire force. Uh, this will slow uh, him down as we will have to muster uh, and re replenish a new force but it's still faster than um, moving him across the map um, mainly you know saves money you know how I am money 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 all right let's disband everybody and then we're gonna recall uh, Zhang Fei by himself all right now we re uh, recall him, we simply wait a turn before we can bring him out again. And when we do, we'll simply raise the army. And if you notice here, it's free to raise an uh, empty retinue army because the salary is separately counted. So we're mainly just uh, paying for upkeep costs and total costs of recruiting the units. Therefore, this is a good method to move your generals across the map. Uh, you can just take care of their retinue if you don't like the retinue, especially some people with initial retinues on the map or weak retinues you use in the beginning. This is a good redeployment method that saves uh, money. So we have that settled. Uh, since Guan Yu doesn't get along with uh, Mi Zhu here, I am going to pop Guan Yu out by himself. And we'll select Guan Yu's army, uh, they're kind of stacked, so we can select him from over here. And then we'll march Guan Yu's army all the way to Longya to meet up with Zhang Fei. Okay. We have Xu Yu's force right here, uh, defending Pingyuan. Uh, we definitely need a force here. Uh, and we plan on recruiting. Um, Feng, uh, Feng, Bi, uh, Feng Bi, who is currently guarding the city. It will cost us 900, uh, the price of these two units, uh, as well as 240 gold to recruit him. Uh, for us, basically, is 900. Uh, what we want to do is recruit him, pop a bunch of forces on him, and then send him right back. Uh, so we'll do just that. We'll recruit him. 
Uh, the axe bands are excellent uh, troops. They are they're not militia units, so they have access to um, formations. As you can see, the symbol right here is a shield wall. So these formations, which we haven't been able to showcase in our uh, let's play so far, uh, because our strategy is still too low level. Uh, will be very powerful in the battle uh, but regardless let's see who he can recruit and who we want so for these defensive city battles uh, the city garrison has good anti um, range units already and as well as anti cavalry unit so for purple uh, commander like uh, Feng Bi, uh, it's bad to just recruit some um, powerful unit that fit his color, uh, they could synergize well, but if we notice Feng Bi starts on the right side uh, with this skill, offensively speaking, it's best that he goes for archery unit and axe or sword units in a purple tree with good melee attack, but this is what, one, two, three, four, four levels away before he can utilize better melee attack. And he's one level away from utilizing fire arrow. So I think we can spend a little money and splurge on him and buy E archers for him. The reason being is it's a one time investment. We don't ever have to pay upkeep costs because he will be a minister of Ping Yuan. So we'll spend the extra uh, upfront gold and recall him right away back into the city. So we strengthened our position in Pingyuan. Uh, in a turn, he'll show up here with his new E archers. Um, Xu Yu can help us defend the city with his trebuchet right now, although it's a little wasted that he is over here. Um, we could recall him, but then we will have to pay future redeployment costs. And it's nice that uh, their forces are defending Pingyuan together, because with him, Feng Bi, and the city garrison, that's a whole, uh, basically entire army, uh, very strong enough to help us defend. Um, Liu Bei here uh, is defending the city. Don't we don't need to change very much? Uh, we are paying a bit of money to have this unit just sit here, but this is our guarantee uh, that Liu Bei doesn't uh, take the city. The city is even stronger than the full army because we have um, Lu Fan. Uh, guarding the city already although we could really use to upgrade his units uh, we but we might recall him once we get redeployment cost down because now we have to pay all these price of all these unit one more time it's just not worth it um they could add another general in the future and then we can turn this army into an offensive force uh, they could maybe add Jian Yong in the future uh, but Jian Yong is not really you know great uh, in battle so I'm not sure what to do there but let's just keep it as it is meanwhile uh, Guan Yu eventually will need a strategist that will synergize well with him and Zhang Fei uh, which will be a tall task because Zhang Fei seems to piss off everyone I did notice that uh, Huang Yu uh, actually works well with Zhang Fei um, so maybe we'll hire him next turn um, once we can pull Zhang Fei up to make sure the stats work out. Um, that covers our army redeployment. Uh, the goal is to take these two cities. I feel like they're both undefended because uh, Tao Ying has moved his force out, uh, apparently into Yinchuan. Uh, this used to be where Yuan Shu is. Uh, the coalition of Yellow River was, already, was fighting Yuan Shu, uh, and I guess that war kind of ended, so they turned their attention towards me. In terms of city building, the two main cities we are developing are both building. The others we are ignoring. So we're happy there. We're going to take care of the administrator next turn. So everything uh, seems to be good. Uh, one last thing is spy. Um, we could use these as spies, but we're currently going to use them as assignment. We have three assignment slots, and we are going to have three uh, potential candidates for assignments with my wife now, a Liu Bei's wife, not my wife. Um, so that would work out, and we might want to hire an additional spy um, from the group. Um, we're in need of generals right now, so 
Hopefully a good one shows up. Let's continue. Finally, Taimal has joined the war, uh, no surprise, his vassal. So we have the full might of the Yellow River Coalition against us. This doesn't concern us, we made peace with Yuantan already. We gained a new item, the Stone Monkey, uh, plus 6 instinct. Liu Bei has gained Friendly. Okay. Somehow friendly provides plus two instinct. Don't know why. Let's first raise Strong Face Army. We want to raise him as fast as possible. Recruit cavalry units. We're just gonna give him straight six militia lancers. Uh, these raider cavalrys are, in my opinion, not as good as militia, uh, militia lancers. Uh, obviously, more upgraded version of the Lance Cavalry units are better, but we don't have access to that as we didn't go down the military reform tree. Um, these are decent. Uh, they do excellent charge damage, and they're very fast, but they're not armored, so we have to use them wi wisely. So we're just going to pump out six of them for him. We're going to use this to check which strategist can actually work well with him. So Mi Heng can work out with him. Just Mi Heng. Now we just gotta quickly check if Mi Heng can work well with Guan Yu. Mi Heng. Ah, it doesn't work well with Guan Yu. But I guess Huang Yu would actually work out with, with would be okay with both of them. He wouldn't hate either one, and he's level 4. Graceful, tolerant, kind hearted, so he's good in all cases and that's a pretty good starting skill and he has an item so we'll have we're, we're gonna recruit him okay um, let's get this army ready first uh, Zhang Fei will recruit uh, Huang Yu uh, we'll do our standard uh, we do have access to crossbowmen. Let's take a look at his skill. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so... He just needs one more level to get Flaming Shot on Tribuchet. And then pick this one up. So three more levels so that he'll be kind of perfect for where I want him to be. In terms of army. Hmm, excellent. Okay. Um, we'll deal with all the items after this. Um, militia archers or crossbowmen or maybe even e archers they are expensive though four times the cost one of these you can have four of these okay so we're just gonna go cheap that's effective enough for us and then obviously two tribuchets and then we're gonna wait for Guan Yu's army to merge with us um, the armies are taken care of, taken care of. Uh, we'll get Guan Yu coming quickly. Uh, it's a little slow, so we're gonna move into March, and we're gonna. Uh, it'll take us just two turns. This will speed us along. Um, let's see what else to do. We have to put our administrator in Taishan. Um, Chen Gong has come back. You see, Chen Gong is. Uh, 28 satisfaction with minus 36 from desire for higher court position so we're gonna put him in now all of a sudden he is 64 um, so that takes care of him as administrator we are gonna have to do the recruitment trip for him as well but I don't think that's a rush because um, no one's really gonna attack Taishan right away so we're safe there uh, we'll put everyone out on assignment as well Currently, we have uh, Mi Heng stimulating the market in Dong. Uh, the Taishan market should be stimulated as well because uh, it has our most 
uh, commerce income. Um, and we're going to send out Xi Yue Zhen to go take care of that. And she actually harmonizes well with Chengong, so that is good news. Yeah, after adjustments, uh, we have basically fixed everyone's. Uh, it's not a big issue for you to keep them uh, disharmonized. It's not the end of the world, so you don't have to go the extra way. I just wanted to do it because I wanted to utilize Zhang Fei. Uh, Zhang Fei's uh, Vanguard Shock Cavalry are very powerful. And he was just kind of wasting away being our defensive force. Liu Bei can play that role. Um, we fixed the economy, we fixed the army, uh, we can build stuff now. Okay, Dong has... doesn't have the the supervised construction that's in Pingyuan, uh, but we can build stuff. It's not... must save that 10%. Uh, this is quite expensive for 100 increase. Yeah, it's quite expensive for... The multiplier is only 45, so it's 145 additional marginal income. And you're spending 7 turns to build it, and then 3,600 gold. Not worth it. Um, this provides 25% additional commerce, as well as 20 additional commerce. Um, hmm, this might be worth it. This is what, 50? The extra 25% off the base of 230, the plus 20 included, plus the 300% now. So we're gaining 52.5 from the 25%, and then from the 20, we're gaining around 985. So 130 something, and you're paying 2006 turns. Uh, here you have the option of going more food or more income. Well, this is actually 40 boost. In. So here you're gaining 40 extra commerce income and 25%. Here you're gaining 20 commerce income and 25%. Uh, the cost is a little bit more here, but it's quicker in terms of build time. So this is definitely more worth it. So I think since I don't have another Sentinel for assignment, nor do I have a assignment slot, uh, I think I'm just going to build this right here. Uh, Tai Shan, um, Xing 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 Xing. Mm, Tai Shan, I'm going to hold off on building up. I'm still waiting for that rebellion. Uh, Beihai, I have converted. Okay, we maxed out the building here. You have to be a small city to build these level uh, three buildings. We can build this for extra food, but we're doing great on food, so I don't think we need to do that. Okay, and Longya, uh, we're doing great on food. We're not trying to make turn this into an economic uh, city because we don't have access to the two counties, which is vital to turn them into an economic city. So I think we're all set here. Let's continue. Uh, Liu Bell has come to uh, fight us. All right, Dong Ming has vassalized uh, Yuan Shu. Yuan Shu. I guess Yuan Shu has been taking quite a beating from the coalition and decided to uh, peace out and become a vassal. Uh, that's why we didn't want to continue to fight Yuan Tan. Um, so that could have been happened to what uh, if we continue to fight Yuan Tan. Uh, so the, they're so stubborn, the Yellow River Coalition, they want to continue to fight Yuan Shu, so they declare war on Dongmin as well. Or at least Tao Ying has. New characters. Oh, this is a sentinel, so I'm definitely interested. Let's take a quick look. Zheng Song. Zheng Song. It's already a gold character, although it's not reflected in his name, but he's a generic character, but he will be a legendary character because this is over 100. 
He has the skill temper deflection, so his skill tree starts on the right side. Uh, not the greatest. Uh, the middles are always better. It gives you a little bit more. Oh, but he's level four, and you know he has charge reflection. So this tells you something. Um, if you take a quick look at Feng, uh, Feng Bi, charge reflection comes from bravery. So he has this skill and this skill, and he's level four. So let's assume he started with these two as level one, two, three. So you know he has these three done. So he's definitely an offensive force. So you have access to these right away for sure. And he doesn't have this skill active. So he might have this this, this line right here instead of uh, this this line right here that Feng Bi has. So it's not bad. Um, let's just, if his traits work out, I'll definitely pick him up. His age is very good too. Okay, uh, he has his obstinate, okay, minus four cunning. Oh, maybe the charge reflect is from this. Never mind, never mind what I said. But if he didn't have this, then it would be true. He's defiant. This makes him pretty decent administrator with a plus 5% attrition to hostile forces and trusting. Okay, he's decent. This is, this is all... Um, Pretty decent stats. He did work for Cao Cao, which makes me a little bit worried that he might be a spy. Because I'm pretty sure Cao Cao has uh, ranked up and has access to spies. Yep, second marquee. Uh, I, guess, but I guess we'll risk it just because... Uh, because heck of it, I, I, I don't mind this character. Let's try it. Alright, so we have two people stimulating, one person not working. So Mi Heng can actually come back and become a spy. He's effective here uh, because the income uh, is a 210, but so he's bringing back 150 gold per turn for us in this post yeah they match each other in commerce now uh, so it's a little shame but i feel like it's better served to send him out as a spy because he's he's a manipulator so his trade is actually works well with spying oh we gotta fix the items none of these items make sense for these guys so for follower items, um, since we're sending him out, we're actually just going to take all his stuff. Oh, he's very unhappy with us. Hmm. Okay, that's, that's fine. We're not going to close this, so I don't want anything on cooldown. Yes, my wife came with the guard. Okay, Jian Yong here. We're gonna change him up a little bit. Okay, remove everything from the four people who are not in the armies. Uh, he is currently, he's going to be our, our new offensive army, so we're going to give him some good items. He can take this sword. Yeah, Miju is in our defensive army. So actually, we're going to give Miju's sword to him, because he's going to be on the offense. And Miju has been disappointing in all battles so far. Okay, he automatically equipped the best item available. Um, who has the other... Cloak. Xu Yu. Uh, Xu Yu is also army by himself right now. Since you're defending, I'm gonna switch you over to him. Um, he is not happy with us. Because he's level 4, that's why. So we definitely have to give him something for satisfaction and something for. Uh, or cunning. Uh, both are important for him. Uh, nothing good here. Feng Bi has nothing. Uh, Mi Zhu is now on the defense, so we're going to strip him of a lot of the stuff. Um, 
you can keep this because you're still fighting. You have better ones, good. You are defending. This is for a ministering dome. This, I don't know what you have right now. Cheng Gong has this to keep him happy. We'll take that out. Um, take this out for now. Xu Yu. Yes, this is the big organizational space. Um, this increases campaign movement when commanding. That's important. This enables guerrilla deployment. We don't need you to have this anymore. We'll give it to an actual um, strategist. And then the tribuches can be put even farther away in certain situations. Zhang Fei is now on the offensive. We'll try to give you a better one. This is great item, plus six. Yeah, this is probably the best item I have for red. And then we can give him the stone monkey, which is part of a set. Uh, this is better for administrators, but it is plus six instinct. Yes, this is the best for him. Um, Liu, Liu Bei has a horse. Who? Guan Yu has a horse. So Liu Bei's horse, we're gonna give Zhang Fei because uh, Zhang Fei is gonna be fighting. Uh, Liu Bei lost his horse. That's fine. This is a set for. Faction leader, not gonna change that. Good on red. He has a campaign movement because he's gonna be leading the army. And people's justice is what? Inspector. Uh, we're not gonna give him that. Hmm. I don't know what to give him. Let's hold off on this. Uh, we'll go to Huang Yu, who is with our main army. He will bring this one with him because he attacking out uh, out of our territory needs military supply and something for cunning. I guess any of these would do. They're the same. This one's part of a set. We don't have book of change, but we're not going to use. It. We're going to just put this guy. We'll put this guy here just to give him some more cunning. Still not over a hundred. That is sad. I mean, all his skills are not cunning related, I guess. Um, let's see. Who else do we need to take care of? Now we need to take care of. Uh, Liu Bei is taken care of. Guan Yu, uh, Guan Yu needs a uh, accessory. Uh, this one I should give to administrator. Mm, Chen Gong is administrator. Fifty-eight happiness. Defense is sixty-two. Phone B is a 56, and this is uh, expertise stat, so we're going to give it to him. This gives you plus 5 reserve. Um, hmm, he has some archers, so giving him a cunning stat actually would not be that bad. Not sure. Mi Heng is very unhappy with us. I'll keep him on assignment for a little while. That should help out with the lack of purpose. We'll give him a fish. Plus six happiness. Now, any of these give happiness? This one gives happiness. This is our happiness rescue set. Wife is happy. Jian Yong is decently happy. Uh, Jian Yong can have this. Uh, you can have this too. I have two of these. Uh, they both expertise items. Phone B has a better one. Uh, none of these enable anything for. Um, Administrator, so we'll fill them out as we see needed. Uh, 
he took this book for supplies, so Guan Yu should take this book for guerrilla deployment. Although, maybe we should switch them. This does help with happiness. Yeah, he needs it. He has more ammo issues. So, we'll still stick with this book. Okay, Xu Yu is defending the north for us. I don't know any of these are good on him. Maybe some authority stat. And definitely cunning. Doesn't matter which one. Chen Gong is very close to becoming legendary. Oh, we took his item away from becoming legendary. We're gonna put it back, so he's over 100. He can have an uh, axe, I guess. Yeah. We finally can have this. Uh, Mitchu can have this. Feng Bi can have this. Alright, we have given out all our items. I don't know if it's most efficient, but spend plenty of time on that. That's good enough. Um, Guan Yu can finally join here. Alright, merge. Guan Yu is the commanding officer. Yes, this army looks great. Uh, mustering wise, two more turns and everyone will be full, and then we'll march into attack. Uh, he is defending by himself. Liu Bei is defending here. So Liu Bao's army has shown up on a ship. Um, he could be attacking either side, so it's dangerous. We See, we might lose the farmland pretty quickly. Um, this army... is not super strong. If we recruit another army here and take advantage of the auto-resolve in the river, we might be able to just beat him. But that's no fun. We'll let him invade. It's okay. If we lose Henei, we lose Henei. Um, hmm. He has nothing to do. So we're going to recruit him. And depending on his skills, yes, he's going to be two militia uh, for anti-cav and two archers okay so that's our force here in the north we'll defend at Pingyuan here we defend at Dong if Henei is taken Henei is taken nothing we can do about Liu Bell's force uh, buildings all set let's continue Yes, so we have brother in arms. Uh, finally, Zhang Fei and Guan Yu are back together. Miju trait gain creative. Okay. We finished building something in Pingyuan. Han has moved to the city to Badong. Uh, okay. So we upgraded this. I want to get another slot uh, here to build. So we're going to upgrade the city. We can handle the food even if we lose the food in Henei because the administrator in Taishan has the plus five food. Uh, now that we utilized um, Jian Yong, we can move him to another city to use. Uh, probably Taishan, who is currently not building anything because. Or actually, don't. Once this upgrade, we can put him in here and put him to use. Uh, this will take three turns to muster, so we'll just defend here in Pingyuan, defend here Dong, and if we lose Henei, we lose Henei. Uh, this arm forces two turns away. We're within attacking range, so we can wait, and it's winter. And our military supply is not full, so we'll wait. 
Jian Yong uh, leveled up. Okay. This creates an issue with uh, him being level 4. Yeah. What can you do? Um, so we eventually want him to be a minister, so we want to pick up these two. Alright, uh, next turn, we'll probably lose that settlement. I mean, honestly, I'm not so sad. It's a minus 60 gold per turn, brings in 6 food. We can't afford to lose 6 food now. Alright, uh, 700 men against 1,983. We're obviously gonna fight it, we're not gonna auto-resolve. Although I don't think the difference would be much because we're fighting in open plains, they'll probably just crush us. Uh, we'll try our best. We don't even have a full retinue. I'll fight it. Uh, if it's not interesting, I'll cut it out. Okay, so I skipped it because it wasn't uh, that interesting. Um, we did try to use the forest as best as we can, uh, and we inflicted 328 damage. It's decent before we all routed. Ah, that's Lady Liu. Lady Liu. She is, doesn't have a really big force. Okay, we lost uh, farmland Hene. And Yuan Shu declared war on Dongmin. Wait, I thought he got vassalized. He declared independence? Isn't he at war with everyone then? I don't know. Oh, Wang Long also joined the coalition. So we're gonna expect Wang Long to join the war too. Uh, Yuan Shao has taken Anping from Han Fu. Okay, so my secret plan to get Zhao Yun uh, from Gong Sun Zan is to have uh, Yuan Tan and Gong Sun Zan fight it out, like in history, and then we can pick up Zhao Yun from that if Gong Sun Zan gets defeated. Now, if Gong Sun Zan wins, uh, then we'll have a strong ally in the north. Uh, that's how I see it. More characters. Let's take a look. Zhe is he Zhe Rong's brother by any chance? Nope. Scholarly, that's great. Cordial, that's great. Arrogant, it's not bad actually. If we don't have him fight. Level 2, we can keep that happy. Uh, Adamant Resolve is the left hand side, so he can pick up all the melee buffs right away. Yeah, I like him. Tong Xiang Rei. Uh, this is a female, high authority, just a little old. If she was younger, I can send him out as a spy and marry her off to a faction. Yeah, she picked up quite a few skill on the top side. Oh, she's cruel, energetic, and friendly. Friendly and cruel. He's a clerk. Okay. Tangxuan, Hunter, could be a spy, uh, High Instinct, Charitable, it's decent, uh, the minus 4 food, it could be a little headachey for my game right now because I don't have enough food. Fulfilled, oh I like him. Okay, so he I like very much. Level 4 though, so once again we're going to have the issue with happiness. Uh, Zhou Bo also could be a spy. 
can, can spy for us, basically. Uh, temper reflection. Creative is nice. Gracious is nice. Tranquil is nice. Maybe we'll hire Zhou Bo as our spy and send him out. She's too old, I feel like, and he, although he's nice and young, uh, Vanguard spies, I just don't feel like are that great. 42 is not that bad. Level 3, level 4. Although because he's legendary, the enemy faction might be more likely to hire him. And we don't have enough vanguards. We did just hire uh, Zheng Song as a sentinel. Tang Xuan? Okay, so maybe we pick him up and send him off to spy for us. Charitable, fulfill. Yeah, it's all really good stats. So, okay, let's recruit him. Go into the undercover network panel. Send him out. Now, who do we want to spy on? Uh, it's tempting to spy on Cao Cao uh, because he uh, will be... I don't even know anything about him, I don't see him on the map. But Cao Cao is a suspicious, has a trait, makes it very difficult to spy on. I feel like it's probably best to put him with Liu Biao. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Liu Biao and I will be fighting some war which will lead him to Liu Bao losing generals and then he might hire him that might work out and we are at war with him and I don't think I have the energy to try to fight him off like entirely I can only try to defend so let's do that so it'll take them a few turns to you know wiggle their way to their faction uh, try to build a cover and get hired it's a slow process we'll check back on it um, yeah, we're happy here. Uh, we can pick up a new tech, uh, new reform. We have that one available assignment that we're gonna send to Dong. All right, what can we build next? That's basically the question. Um, that's relating to the tech tree. When we have the new empty slot in uh, the city um, Pingyuan, I'm going to build a school until next spring uh, so that we can take this tech and unlock this branches, these couple branches because I want to get some of these uh, later reforms and I really need that one. This is an option. This unlocks the farm distribution. Let me think. We're about to go to war, so military supply would be good too. Taking this eventually uh, evolves into stuff like this, plus 25% food production faction-wide, plus 25% food production, 15 from peasantry. This is not a bad tree. The initial investment it's kind of wasted because we're not getting anything from this whereas here we can pick up another trade route mm. yeah I think I'm gonna pick up a trade route all these ports I've, I have a lot of ports so eventually I'm gonna need that seems like I'm focused on the blue tree but that's that that's a bit scattered I don't think I'm going very deep in any of the trees. So, since we got a new trader out, let's see who we can trade with. Ah, <laughs> Yuan Tan. Okay, he doesn't like us, but maybe he'll trade with us. Okay, the trade route's worth 669. So if we are able to give him something to make it happen, it seems worth it. I am gonna give him per turn payment. Oh, he's gonna ask for a lot. That's a lot. 
right, to get to 2.3. That kind of reduced the value of this trade agreement. We're still going to be making money on this deal. It's just that we're going to be making less money. All right, we're trying to optimize this. 224, 222, okay, so maybe 223, maybe? Mm, I don't know if 223 will work. Ooh, not, okay, yeah, 223 will work. I'm inclined to give him per term payment in case he canceled the trade agreement on us, then we also don't have to pay him anymore. Ah, we can sell him food. He is lacking food because we took Rene from him. Perfect. He can pay us a little bit more. Okay, he's not gonna pay us anything. Yep. Yep, he just doesn't like us. <sighs> I'm overpaying for it. Okay, I can't do anything about it. He'll just luck out here. Get plus point zero point two for me. Okay. Where is Ren Shu? I mean I think he's just happy with me, just simply because he's at war with everyone that's at war with me. We're at war with the same coalition. It's not that, it's not that yeah. See, war with our enemy is the only reason why we're happy with each other. This is for what? Non-aggression pack? Okay. Three hundred sixty? It's not bad. He also needs food. So that when you're in negative food, as they are, one food is worth two point five, so Hmm, this could work out. What's the magic number? Is it 315? It is 315. Okay. Yeah, we'll do this. Alright, we sold two f food for some money to people who are really desperate on food. We're going to be losing four food when this finishes. That's fine. Uh, we put assignment in. Everyone's working. Yeah, literally everyone's working. Alright. Uh, this is a three general army Lady Liu, Li Ruo, and Liu Humin. This used to be Liu Dai's um, sister or daughter? I don't know. And she, I guess she married off into Liu Bao's family. Liu Qi, his son, Huang Zhong. Uh, this is awkward fight. Historically, for those of you who know, Huang Zhong eventually joins Liu Bei. Okay, we'll hold our line there. Uh, we're definitely healthy enough. They're missing just a sliver of health, that's why they're still mustering. So we're gonna come out and take Peng Chong's farmland. Wang Lang's probably gonna join the war eventually. Oh wow, he marshaled the force back. Well, we're definitely gonna siege and starve him for a turn because wow that's a huge army okay 
I think this one turn attrition. Well, he had. Wait, how many did he have? So he had 32. 3250. We'll see how much this starting out in one turn would do. Uh, I, I predict he just comes out and face us. So that'd be interesting. This is slowly going to the rebellion plan that I had. Uh, just gonna quickly make sure I'm still friendly with Gong Sun Zan and Kong Rong. I really can't afford uh, them turning on me right now. Alright, we're at 90 with Gong Sun Zan and Kong Rong. We're at. Oh, we're trending downward. Alright, Kong Rong. Can we negotiate something? Hmm. What about trading a territory to us? Like the livestock farm that I really want. What can I give you? I can equip this to someone. This is actually decent. These are just so so. Okay, that's 10 more to go. I can give you some food because the livestock farm can produce food. We'll save four for the city upgrade. And here is where we'll use our cash. How about 5,000 gold. Oh, that's enough. We don't need to give him the food. Okay, so we trade him two armor plus 5,000 flat gold payment for the territory of Beihai Livestock Farm. Yeah, do we want to give him a little sweetener here? See, once we take Beihai Livestock Farm, we can start trading him food. He's getting food from that farm. Uh, wait, what am I trying to do here? Well, I know 5,000 works. I guess I can try to see if anything less than 5,000 works. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll just do this. Yeah, this this will work. Alright. Oh, now he doesn't like us. Ah, oh, great. Great, great, great. But he also lacks food now. Yeah. So immediately, we're gonna trade you some food back. Because we now have your livestock farm. Um, five food? That should be sufficient. Okay, five food. How much can you pay me before the jump? Oof. Well, he has so much gold. Oh, because I gave him, <laughs> I gave him five thousand gold. Okay. Um. Seems better that he pays me straight up. Yeah. We'll do this deal. At least he'll be dependent on us for food. And hopefully he won't hate us for it too much. I mean, if worse comes to worse, we wipe out Koron from the map. I am not going to hesitate to do that. Okay, so we have Beihai now. In, in its entirety, uh, this will be a food production town. Hmm, maybe I do want to upgrade it to a small city just so that this building can pop up. And then for the last building option. 
maybe a tax collection building. Maybe I'll wait for assignments. Pretty happy with what just happened. Uh, we're still defending against Liu Bell here. Offensive force has started sieging, so we're probably gonna go into some battles now. Um, let's go for it. Yuan <laughs> Shu, do you think I will say you're a legitimate claim to the emperorship? No way, man. No way. We're friendly, but not friends. Alright. They won't take the one turn of attrition because I think that's it, it would be too much. So we'll fight them. Uh, AI I think it's gonna be a close defeat, but they don't know how powerful our trebuchet and shock cavalries are. Yes, okay, perfect. It's a little woody, uh, foresty for my taste, but let's go. Wow, beautiful scenery. It's foresty, but it's pretty. Wow. Okay, so their reinforcement from the garrison is coming this way. We want to fight it in as open space as possible. So we're gonna first deploy our... Maybe not on that hill. Um, Alright, we want them coming to us in the wide open spaces, not through the woody forest deep spaces where these can miss. Right, space them out a little bit. This is our first group. These are capable of fire arrows, so... We'll put them here. This uh, strip of trees will help prevent our flank from cavalry charges because these will slow down the cavalry. And we'll also put a unit of um, spearmen hidden in the forest. They, they're hidden with the symbol. Uh, in case the cavalry do make that attempt, this can stop that. Uh, Zhang Fei's force will be on this side of the trees. Their job really is to flank. Uh, actually, we're gonna hide them here. Uh, some of them are not hiding. Force is not dense. Okay, so the goal is we hide them and we flank once the engagements start. These are very prone to uh, archer damage, so we have to be very careful with them. Uh, the archery group, actually, the archery group should be two, and these guys can be three. Alright, so this is a level 4 strategist, therefore we unlock what's called the turtle formation. It gives 500% increase to your charge resistance, as well as 100% plus, uh, percent plus chance to range block chance. So, uh, we will be impervious to arrows, uh, but the AI at the hard difficulty and above, uh, the archers would not shoot at the... Uh, spear guards at all uh, because for them it's considered a waste of ammo but we'll still put them out here uh, in case anyone does want to shoot at them uh, I think I spread them a little too thin for oh, actually, the turtle would be like this it's kind of like the phalanx you know you have people who are shielding up people who are shooting every direction yep that's our two main defensive formations in the front we don't have many infantry men for defense we have to run our generals around uh, to do most of the hard work. The other unit, who's uh, he's hidden, so this unit's our reserve unit. He will be covering the left flank in case the enemy want to flank the trebuchet. And we'll have Guan Yu's archers, since they can be guerrilla deployed, they can be deployed anywhere. I'll deploy them here in hiding. Uh, I'll turn off auto fire. So once the engagement start, they'll come out and shoot from behind uh, against the. That way you don't shoot against the armor or the shield. Uh, pretty happy with how we set up here. Uh, maybe I'll put one of you up front too for a duel, but I'm not sure. That might take too much damage. We made that mistake in our very first battle. So let's start. 
first, let's take a look if anyone might want to do us. Oh, it seems like these two both, both might want to do us. That is perfect. Alright, patience is key here. We have a bunch of hidden units uh, that we can use to our advantage. Alright, we know he doesn't want to duel. Taoshang might want to duel. But what does he have? What is that item? Is that a special sword? I can't tell. Probably a special sword. But it's bronze, so it can't be that great. Seems like Taoshan would want to duel. He does have a uh, 37% evasion. He doesn't have the tenacity skill though. That one's very important for dueling as a sentinel. Alright, we'll send our um, generals out to harass and try to pick up some duels. They're probably going to hang out and wait for that reinforcement to come, so I'm going to speed up real quick. Seems like he will do us. Let's see if we get that notification once we get close enough. You see the dueling range. Uh, when you click duel, you see the dueling range. Alright. Zhang Fei will just hang around. In case after the duel they all right we can slow it down take a look at the duel while everyone's so far away yeah. so sentinels are very good at holding you and uh, not dying It'll be a slow and long fight uh, should we should I be worried about how they're approaching this to draw them out of the forest, they're very smart. They're doing quite a bit of damage to Guan Yu. Alright, Guan Yu is losing health. I mean, if Zhang Fei is close enough with their Oath Storm, 12% melee evasion. Okay. Oh, we got it. Okay, Zhang Fei needs to come close in case. They come after the duel ends, they'll turn on Guan Yu, and he's not in his court. Oh, oh! Right in the head. Get on your horse. He's, he's, he's mad because his brother got killed. Alright, we pull back. We just, we just fight him. Oh, nice charge damage. Alright, they're still out of range of everything else, so we can focus on this. Alright. Yeah, those two AOE abilities really just wrecked this group. The peasant band? Yeah, they're not even G militia spearmen. No, no, no. Come back, Guan Yu. Focus. Oh, fuck. Mm, these cavalries are annoying. We're gonna pull back. We're gonna pull away from the cavalry. They're too strong. Oh, getting charged again. Alright. Uh, we're just getting charged at repeatedly. This is annoying. Alright, we'll run over. I 
Are we within? Oh, they're almost within range. God, the hole. Okay. We'll pelt them. Okay. Now the cavalry is a little far away. We can charge back. Come on. There you go. Nice. Uh, here comes the cavalry again. It's so annoying. <laughs> right. These are under fire from the tribuchets, that's why they all went to a loose formation. Uh, we're gonna wait till they engage before we send the cavalry out. Yeah, this cavalry is annoying. Alright, let's just fight, dude. We'll try to use our ability to... Okay, yeah, we're gonna wrap them with our abilities. It's a messy fight. Fire arrows when they get close. Slowly come in through the forest. Alright, cavalry's gone again. Charge again. We're basically trading our general's health for this win. Oh, here they come again. Retreat, retreat. Don't get charged again. Ah, uh, my he's taking a charge damage. Alright. We can win this. Alright, we'll pull away. They did their job. Uh, archers, come out. Don't get, don't get engaged on by the spearmen. Good. He's running away. Okay, Archer's running away. Alright, we'll just pull it back. Everything's fine. Charge in. The cavalry made it back to the back line. Uh, we just don't want to get engaged with. Alright, we got this. All these are fair game. Fire. Gotta navigate the battlefield away from all the spearmen and route everyone else. Okay, once they're routed, stop chasing so much. We can chase after the battle is won. So after you get engaged in turtle formation, you want to pull them out, or else the melee attack rate's too low. Got this group right here. John Face got this one. You can come out and get a group too. Yeah. These guys are shooting at the peasant bands. He's back, but whatever. Alright, 
Don't fight the... Don't fight the... the No need to fight the spearmen. Or shoot them. Right. Just gotta utilize everyone. Uh, you can use your cavalry to charge into spearmen, but only if they're like not braced. Pick up these units. Our goal is to reduce their number so that when we are done with this fight, we can uh, take the Garrus the city without much difficulty. This is definitely a costly victory. But we got this. Don't let them run away. Alright, uh, we could just claim victory here. But to prevent them having these units uh, when we attack the city, we're gonna spend a little bit of time and just chase down every uh, regular unit. We don't need to chase down the generals. There's a good chance they could be captured. See, like this, the infantry captain, the garrison captain, we gotta run them down, kill everyone. That way, there will be no garrison when we uh, fight again. Okay, that's doing perfectly fine. Some of these guys will get away. One archer, 22, so not that much. Come back. Routed men. Uh, that's why we have cavalry, you know? Excellent during battle and excellent after battle. We can m ensure that no one can get out and run down everybody. I could go run him down. But. I don't want to. Okay. Speed this up. Wow, Zhang Fei is losing morale. It's actually took so much damage, he's wavering. Everyone's busy. Damn. Okay, it's just the generals. This one once this one route we can call it. Oh, there's a the unit there. Okay, guanyu has got it. They got it. Okay, let's claim victory. Close victory, yeah. It w it wasn't pretty. All right, we won that battle. Uh, we lost 421. Okay, we can look at that later. We captured uh, Zhang Guan. Uh, he is willing to work for us, but he's clumsy, lumbering, and interpret. Uh, none of these sound great. He is friends with Tao Ying and Tao Shang. Uh, he has nothing valuable to steal and his retinues... I'm just gonna release him actually. I don't want him and I don't really need to kill him. Okay. 
So we could um, replenish, or we could take money and unity points. We did lose 421 men, as I mentioned. Um, they lost pretty much everyone. Uh, we killed off everyone in the garrison. So the city is free, uh, the farmland's free for the taking. That depends on whether we want to attack Donghai right away. Uh, I feel like I still want the unity points. Okay, okay. Cao Cao declared war on Sun Jian. Ma Teng declared war on Yuan Shu. How many wars is Yuan Shu going to be in? Zhang Yan declared war on Yuan Shu. Okay, no one likes him. Uh, we damaged the buildings. That's uh, not ideal. Uh, it's going to be our building soon. Okay, so I'll quickly fly through the management part of this this turn, and then I'll call it a, a episode. And next episode, we'll jump back in and take over uh, Pengcheng's farmland. Um, that's the plan. Um, Zhang Fei and Guan Yu both leveled up. Uh, Harbor got upgraded. Mi Heng got the trait Understandable. Okay, this is a very good trait for Harmony. Because once they get understanding, um, they're okay with pretty much everyone, uh, which is great. Uh, let's level up Zhang Fei real quick. Uh, we're continuing this top line all the way to Blazing Roar. Or we could stop by and get Final Push, but I feel like... Yeah, we just need this right now. 25% battle running speed for cavalry is, is, is a must-have. Yeah, this is good too. And so is charge speed. So I think we're still going to go this route. Okay, that's settled. Next is Guan Yu. Uh, Guan Yu probably want to take... I want this. Cause terror uh, for morale damage. And I also want this because this is gigantic splash damage. Do I want reinforcement range? I don't have many army. I don't have multiple army group going out. Encourage is nice, but he's rarely with his troops. This is nice too. Plus 25% ambush. All right, we'll go top route, and we'll get this next. Okay, so the, all the level stuff are taken care of. We'll give you a raise. All right, Dong has upgraded the port. We can continue to upgrade the port uh, for 40 more income and 25 more percent commerce. This is very good for 2,400. Versus this option here, uh, 20 income, 25% for much cheaper, 40. This is probably better. Yeah, we'll go trade port. Uh, that's done. What other building we need to do? All right, Beihai now has both. Uh, I don't want to do this right now. Taishan has one assignment. I could just build this out. It's not that expensive. And neither is this. I preferably, I can get a Jianyong, someone to come here. I guess this is five turns, so Jianyun can come out now and go to Taishan next turn. Pingyuan needs two turns, so he could also go back to Pingyuan for the extra slot that we'll have. Uh, so we'll have minus four food next turn. So we'll have two food, which is okay. Uh, Liu Bao has not moved farther out, which we're content with. Maybe he'll get into conflict with Yuan Tan. Who knows? Um, Liang Ye, uh, Lang Ya, not gonna do anything. Okay, so yeah, uh, we'll call this episode uh, end here uh, because I feel like I, I'm definitely going to fight this. 
But I feel like if I fight this right now, um, actually I could just delegate it. But I kind of want a 0% chance of capture. Uh, we have a chance to capture Tao Shang, and because he's faction leader, I think that's why. And we have another chance to capture him, who we released. Um, we can definitely do it uh, right now, real quick. But like load time, everything for me, I'm just gonna call it an episode. Uh, we'll, we'll pick this up uh, next time. Okay, so to sum it up, uh, what we've done this episode is we reorganized our military status. We have put two defensive armies out in the field defending our key positions. Uh, we lost some food supply when we lost Hene to Liu Bao's invading army. It's quite hard to defend because he's attacking me from the Yellow River route so he can pick which side of the coast he wants to attack. Uh, this also kind of put Taishan at risk, uh, but so far he has taken Hene's farmland and stopped attacking. I was able to uh, go into a trade deal with Kongrong and buy uh, Beihai. Uh, use two armor, uh, one rare, one exceptional piece, plus 5,000, uh, around 5,000 gold to purchase Beihai. Uh, now that's my food bank. Uh, Beihai I like a lot better than um, Hene's farmland. Even though it produces less food, it completes my Beihai commandery, as well as the fact that there's no upkeep cost for livestock farms. Uh, next time, I will continue to uh, take over Pengcheng's farmland for more food as well as take over Donghai, uh, Taoying's capital, and also completing our story mission. Uh, we will still play the defensive battle up north uh, on the Rilla River with Liu Bao. Uh, I don't think I have the manpower to take him right now, uh, at least not offensively. Uh, my force, despite winning the fight here today in Pengcheng, did take heavy losses and showcase how our archer and militia units lack of morale and low level uh, is going to hurt us in the long run. Hopefully they can uh, gain some experience fighting Tao Ying's forces and be one of our uh, offensive force. Economically we're doing great uh, in terms of uh, diplomatic, Kongrong is dipped to uh, yellow and Wang Lang has joined the enemy's alliance, so there's a good chance we'll be at war with this entire faction and Kongrong could stab us anytime in the back, so we have to watch out for that. Uh, with that said, I hope y'all enjoyed the episode, and uh, if you did, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, and hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.